friends. How's everybody doing today? We're gonna make a little bit of a mess with today's art project, which is called bubble painting. For today's project, you're going to need, first of all, something that you could use to contain your work area a little bit. You can see that I made a work area protector out of the top of a cardboard box. So I can keep all my mess inside the cardboard box lid and not all over the table and everywhere else. So we are gonna be needing some different kinds of paper. The project we're doing today is a great way that you can experiment with some different types of paper to see what works best for you. So I have some watercolor paper. I have some white construction paper. I have a piece of poster board, and I can't remember what that was. It's some type of white uh, office paper, I believe. So to make our bubble paints, what we're gonna need are some little cups. You could use any other kind of containers too, but you're not gonna need them to be very big because we don't need very much of the bubble paint. To make my bubble paint, what I did was that I mixed a couple of tablespoons of bubble solution, bubble blowing solution, with color. And the color I used for some of my paints were different food colorings. I put four drops of food coloring of each of the different colors in my cup. Now for this color, for my yellow, I mixed a little bit of yellow temper paint with my bubble solution. See if that looked a little bit different. For my red, I put a bit of red temper paint in with my red food coloring. So this is another way that you can experiment a little bit and see which paints and which papers make the best combination. The other thing you're gonna need is a straw, a regular drinking straw, and you can wipe it off or rinse it off in between your different colors. So what you're gonna do first, I'm gonna choose a color to start with, and I'm gonna choose a paper to start with. I'll just have this ready. So what we're gonna do, have you guys ever blown bubbles in your milk and an adult probably told you, stop doing that, stop blowing bubbles in your milk? We're gonna be blowing bubbles in our bubble paint to make patterns on our paper today. So watch this. Whoa! See, look, I have bubbles coming all the way up out of the top of my cup. That's just what I wanted. So now what I'm gonna do is put my paper down right into the bubbles and turn it over. I don't know that that one turned out so well. Let's try a different kind of paper. I'm gonna stir it. Whoa, there come the bubbles everywhere. This is the watercolor paper. Let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna press it down in the bubbles and then I'm gonna turn it over. Oh, I didn't get any on there. There we go. Oh, I definitely got some color on there. Now, as our bubbles dry on our paper, the designs are gonna start to show up because the edges of those bubbles are gonna be darker. So now I'm done with my yellow, so I'm gonna try another color. I'm gonna try some red bubble solution. When I blow my bubbles, I'm gonna have to kind of move my straw around so that I can get bubbles going in all different directions. Okay, deep breath. See why I need my tray? Look at this. I'm gonna press my paper on my bubbles. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one turned out so cool. That was my red food coloring mixed with the red temper paint on construction paper. I got a little overspray on my first piece here, but I think that looks kind of cool. I got a few little speckly dots on there. Ah. Let's put some red bubbles on top of my yellow bubbles on this paper, which is, whoa, gonna look really cool on top of the yellow. All right, let's try some other colors. 
think I'll, I will do green next. And the green one, remember this was my bubble solution mixed with green food coloring. If your bubble solution is for some reason not bubbly enough, you could try adding a little bit of dish soap, a little extra dish soap, get the proportions just so that it makes the right amount of bubbles for you. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. We're experimenting, we're having fun, and we're making a little bit of a mess. Okay, I'm gonna take my deep breath and I'm gonna blow bubbles again. Whoa, here they come. Okay, so I'm gonna press my paper, this is my watercolor paper again, on top of my green bubbles. And that barely showed up, I'm gonna try again. Ah! Bubbles everywhere. I'm gonna just pick up some of the bubbles that time. Oh, look at that. I picked up bubbles instead of pressing them down. We'll have to set that aside and look at it in a minute when the bubbles start to dry. Sometimes your designs don't quite show up for a few minutes until your bubbles are starting to dry on your paper. So here's purple, deep breath. Adults, you're gonna be really glad that you have this box on your table if your little ones are doing this. Make sure you watch the really little ones that they don't drink the bubble solution instead of blowing bubbles out. Oh, that looked pretty cool. That one, you can really see the edges of the bubble starting to pop. Some of the little ones, they, they have a little trouble with a straw, you know, to blow out of the straw. So it's something that uh, you could help with. You could do this project together. Uh, and maybe you could blow bubbles or an older child could blow bubbles and the younger one could press the paper on. Purple bubbles, here we go. See how they're starting to show up? Let me see if I can help this one along a little bit. I'm gonna blow my bubbles around. So I hope that you will have a really fun time experimenting with this weird and messy and fun art project. Uh, there's soap in your paints that'll help you get your hands clean after you do your artworks. Let, let me show you a few others that I made that are all dry. These uh, I did yesterday and you can see how they look when they're totally dry. Now what can you do with your bubble print paper after you're all done? A really fun thing to do with art that you've made before is to cut it up and make other types of art out of it. You could use these for making little greeting cards or thank you cards. You could use it to cut shapes out of to make collages. We're going to be doing some projects like that in the future. So make sure you save all your old paintings and art that we can use for future art materials. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you next time.